Good morning, friends. Welcome to another vlog. I am actually out walking. It is about 7.30 in the morning and it's only about 87 degrees. It's hot, but it's bearable. So I thought, let me take this opportunity and actually get outside and get some fresh air. So that's what we're doing today. Very exciting. How are you guys doing? Are you guys getting out and moving around? It's very important. All right, let's see how far we get. That was such a lovely walk. The breeze, like I was saying, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly cool, but it didn't feel like a hair dryer. So that was a nice relief. And like the sun didn't feel that strong. Usually Las Vegas sun, if you like, put your bare skin into it, it feels like it's being singed immediately. Um, it didn't, yeah, it just didn't feel as strong. Anyway, it was a really, really beautiful start to the day, but I just wanted to check, I just want to see like how many steps that is, that walk that I do. So I live on a golf course community, and so there's the main golf course community, and then there's like these little like neighborhoods surrounding it. So I'm in one of those little neighborhoods. So I walked through my neighborhood and then I walked basically through the golf course community and then I turned around and just came back. It was about 5,000 steps. Okay, so what is that? About like a mile and a half. I think 10,000 steps is like three miles or something. Am I remembering that correctly? Anyway, my <laughs> so funny, like all of my stats have dropped since coming back from Europe. I was having a lot of, a lot of steps and a lot of distance covered. Uh, when I was over in Europe, but yeah, that has dipped quite a bit. So, oh, I got eight hours and nine minutes of sleep last night. That's probably why I feel pretty good. All right, I am going to make my yogurt breakfast. guys it's like a little behind the scenes because I'm gonna try and film a shorts for TikTok and for YouTube utilizing the new I've already misplaced it oh my gosh I am such a mess these days what is going on I'm not the most organized person we've already talked about this but I'm like really really not doing well right now hold on oh here it is okay so this is the new NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener in the shade Night Swan. So this is the box packaging. They sent me three shades. This is the lightest one they sent me, and I think um, this works. It is very, very brightening. I have the shade up, but I did just sort of like test out this formula, um, and it is, it's interesting. It's very different from their concealer that comes in the pot. Like smoother when you touch it, but then when you apply it, it gets really, um, tacky in a way. It's really interesting. I'm going to play with this. I'm going to use one of the new NARS Afterglow liquid blushes, which isn't that new anymore, and some other new stuff like the Hourglass Hydrating Veil. I think I'm going to mix some of the West Bend Atelier liquid super loaded highlights in there, maybe the Makeup Forever loose powder. Anyway, let's get this started. I really don't know what it is about shooting a portrait. I'm even looking at the monitor, shooting a landscape, shooting a portrait, it's so different. It just looks so much more shadowy, even when I'm using the same camera. Let's do this. OK, 
Okay guys, that is the hydrating skin tint with one drop of the Pot de Peche of the West Venetilla liquid highlighter. Isn't that so pretty? I think it looks so great. Okay, next we are gonna use the NARS. really brightening underneath my eyes. Maybe next time I'll try the deeper shade. But yeah, this one is Night Swan, just FYI. Then I'm gonna use some of this Makeup Forever um, HD Skin Twist and Light Loose Powder. I'm using the shade 2, medium. Then I'm gonna use this Syrah Bronzer. This is the Soleil de Artistic Bronzer. And I'm using the new Sonia G Large Fan Brush. That's part of her new Fundamental set. What I've noticed is this one is, just FYI, uh, from her original fundamental set this is sculpt one so it's not quite as fluffy as it is on top this definitely has like a stronger application if you want to do like a contour with your bronzer which i generally do so this is really really nice then i'm going to use the nars afterglow liquid blush in brazen now i'll go ahead and use behave so behave is a little bit pinker and brazen is a little bit more peach and i've been reaching for um, behave a lot so yeah i'm going to try brazen this time the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Blush and Glow palette. This is the one that's exclusive to the Hourglass site and I do have my Michelle 10 coupon code which gives you 10% off any purchases on the Hourglass site, just FYI. And I'm going to use the new Sonia G Fan A brush and go into this highlight. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Chantecaille Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint because I had to toss that old Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel that screwed up my last uh, attempt at doing this shorts I talked about in my last vlog. <laughs> And then this is something that I've held on to for so long, but I purchased a couple of Dior quads, no, quince, when they reformulated them. This was months ago. This was like before I even left for Europe. So I think maybe in May I ordered these. They came and I just never really got a chance to use them. So I ordered a couple of shades. This one is Nude Dress. And I don't know, it looked appealing to me. I know in the previous version of these quints, I had like gone through a declutter and I actually decluttered new dress, but this one looked good to me. So anyway, we're gonna try this one today. So I just started with this color. It is, wow, the monitor doesn't look that much lighter than this one, but, uh, or deeper. It's just a little bit more brown. It's a little bit more of like a satin finish. This looks like a metallic finish. So anyway, I just started with this and now I'm moving on to this shade. And now moving on to the deeper brown shade. Love it. You guys know how much I love the last Dior quince. So I was really nervous. I was like, why are they reformulating this? Why are they like coming out with this again? This is nice. This is really nice so far. Okay, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Then I'm gonna use my Lashy Doll. I'm gonna use this new Suku Moisture Rich Lipstick in the shade 128. This is coming out for fall winter, so this may actually be out when this video goes up, I'm not sure. But they're only available on Selfridges. I know it's tough to get Suku in the US, um, but you can get them through Selfridges. my final look sometimes it's tough you know when it's like all new makeup but 
this actually looks great underneath my eyes. And this, especially compared to something like the Westman Atelier Liquid Super Loaded that I've been using under my eyes because I just love the smooth, blurred, like highlighty effect it gives. It doesn't give a lot of like correction. So I think you can definitely use both together. This would definitely like cover up and correct any sort of like discoloration you may have underneath your eyes. But then if you use something like the Westman Atelier, you can give it like the finish that you want. This is really nice all on its own. All right, well, hopefully that was a successful shorts filming. I'm gonna try and edit that now. And then, oh no, actually what I'm gonna do is I need to take some photos. See, I'm trying to like be really efficient with my workflow process. And this was another thing I talked about in my last vlog, but I really want to, yeah, just sort of clean stuff, <laughs> clean up my act over here. Yeah, let me take some photos. Let me do that now. Okay, let's look at this makeup in some natural light. Nice. <laughs> I look so good. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that always sounds so obnoxious, doesn't it? Sorry, sorry. Let's look at the, just the makeup. Yeah, that NARS is really, that NARS is really nice. Yeah, I think on those days where I need like a little bit more coverage or I'm not looking for a highlight, this is really nice for the under eyes. Sorry, I have a neighbor outside staring at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> well, uh, we'll check in later. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this like combo. I've been playing around with the, the liquid super loaded highlights from Westman Atelier more and more. And when I do like put a drop into my foundation and then I use it for contouring and highlighting and I have it underneath my eyes, that is a very specific look. That is like, okay, I'm going for like glow, like all over glow. I'm not opposed to that. I've always been into a glow. I've always been into like a really illuminated, luminescent kind of glow. However, that's not always the case. It's not like I want that every day, all the time, 365. Like the stars is a really good option if I don't wanna have like, you know, if I don't wanna be glowy all over, like have dolphin skin from like forehead to chin. So anyway, I think this is gonna be a really good option. Again, we'll have to see how it wears, but so far it looks Great, great. And I love this lipstick. This Suku lipstick is so creamy. It's so creamy, it feels like a lip mask. And this color is so pretty. I love that it's like a medium pigmentation. It's not super heavy. All right, let me edit these clips. Let me edit these photos and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was heading up to bed because it's late for me. It's like 9.30. And I realized I did not do like a little end of the day check-in since we were doing some new makeup today. So let me sit down. Let me examine what's going on. Ooh. Okay. I'm impressed. So I did go out today a couple of times. I had to run a couple errands. I went to the UPS store. I wasn't outside for that long, but I did leave my house, <laughs> which is more than what I've been doing lately. And the makeup looks good. I feel like the NARS has stayed put and I used um, the, where did it go here? The Makeup Forever HD Skin Twist and Light Powder in Medium. This is really growing on me. I've been using it more and more and I really like it. The cream blush is really good. I'm just really curious about this NARS. I was just really curious about this NARS and it is um, nice. What lipstick did I put on? That obviously has worn off, but I can't even remember now. Oh, I used the Suku. The Suku Moisture, uh, moisture Rich, wow, I should go to bed. Moisture Rich Lipstick. That has definitely uh, worn off, but that's, you know, that's not meant to be long lasting lipstick, so that's not really a surprise. But the eyeshadow looks good. The Hourglass highlighter looks good. I'm really impressed. All right, well, two thumbs up for pretty much everything I put on today, but really impressed with that NARS light reflecting under eye brightener. I think that like really has stayed put and it hasn't changed at all. Like it doesn't, it hasn't faded and it doesn't look, I mean, usually like by now, cause it's been 10 hours, right? It's been about 10 hours. It, you know, sometimes things like start to look just a little makeup-y, like understandably, especially under the eyes. And my eyes have been watering today. I don't know why, maybe allergies. And it looks great. Okay, anyway. I am off to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. 
I got some PR in yesterday. Let's go over this quickly. <laughs> I got some Lisa Eldridge Velveteen Liquid Lip Colors. I'm gonna do like a swatching shorts of this. Here's a better idea of the shades. So there's eight shades in total, and she sent over seven. The one that she did not send over is Muse. So just so you know, I'll be swatching all of them other than Muse, which is fine. That was not, <laughs> hope that didn't sound like a complaint. I only got seven. No, it's, she sent me seven, which is incredible. She included a little note. It says, hi, Michelle, hope you're well. Next time you come to London, you have to let me know. We have to have tea together. Lots of love, Lisa. And that's so sweet. I'm holding on to this note. <laughs> And then NARS sent over a bunch of their duos. So I guess they have these available. So it's two mascaras. This is their Climax mascara duo. Then this is their Power Matte lip pigment duo. Uh, but there's two different shades in here. This is American Woman and Slow Ride. And then the same goes for these, the Afterglow lip balm. This is, I think, Orgasm and Dolce Vita. Yeah, I love these lip balms. And then this is the double orgasm blush set. So this is just orgasm times two. So thank you to NARS for that. And then I got this Bumble and Bumble seaweed air dry cream. So this is infused with a trio of nutrient rich seaweeds. Lightweight leave-in conditioner and styling cream gives hair hold and all day hydration. I really like the idea of something that lets me air dry my hair. Not that I mind blow drying my hair, but on days when it's really hot, it's like the last thing I wanna do. So maybe I'll play around with this. I always think something like this is gonna make my hair look really like, just kind of flat. I don't know, I should give it a try, right? Bumble and Bumble stuff is usually pretty amazing. Thank you to them for this. And then I got this box from Shiseido and they've partnered with the World Surf League. Look at these limited edition boxes, aren't they awesome? Of course, Shiseido, very well known for their SPF. This is their Synchro Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 50 for face and body. This feels like a really big bottle. Is it, maybe it's a little bit bigger than their like typical sunscreen bottle, maybe not, I'm not sure. Um, oh no, this is for face and body. Yeah, those are bigger. Okay, they also sent me the clear sunscreen stick. You guys, this saved me when I was traveling around Europe. So when I did a talk with Clay de Poe, I asked them if they could come out with a product that was easily kind of easily reapplied during the day because, you know, sunscreen doesn't last that long. It lasts like two hours tops. And so you're supposed to reapply. But once you put makeup on, right, it seems like, well, what am I going to do? I can't just like slather lotion all over my face again. So people have come out with sprays or whatever. None of them have been perfect. And I think there's been some criticisms about well, how much coverage do they really give you? And they're like, oh, use our clear sunscreen skin stick it just glides right over makeup and i was like really <laughs> i had no idea so anyway the clear sunscreen stick i was reapplying this the whole time especially when i was in florence because it was especially sunny and warm and we were out a lot like in milan we were kind of in and out i still use this um, but it was really in florence where this saved me i kept it in my bag it's not that large as you guys can tell it's like a teeny tiny deodorant size <laughs> sunscreen stick anyway Thank you so much, Shiseido. And then Exit Beauty sent me two of their All Smiles Bare Lip Liner. So one is Bare Your Love. This one looks a little bit more, ooh, that does look like the perfect nude. I really wanna do a latte makeup look. That is the look that everyone is doing. I always love a real bronzy, monochromatic brown kind of look, especially for the summertime. I just think it's so, uh, there's something very sultry about it. And then the other one is called Barrier Strength. And this one looks, yeah, a little bit more pink. So this is Barrier Strength. Thank you so much, Exa. And then the last thing that came in yesterday is from Prequel, which is, uh, it seems to be a, a skincare line that I'd never heard of. This is the Glenzer. So this is a non-drying glycerin cleanser for face and body. And it's a mirrored bottle. Isn't that cool? It's a giant bottle, actually. How much is in here? This is 400 mils. 
I guess for face and body, I guess it needs to be a pretty large size. And then here is the Urea Advanced Relief 100% Urea Moisturizing Milk for face and body. It hydrates, gently exfoliates, and smooths. So the call-out ingredients are shea butter, jojoba esters, glycerin, and niacinamide. So there's that. And then the last thing they sent me is a skin utility ointment. This is a multi-purpose skin protectant. So that is also very nice, especially going into the cooler weather. God, just the thought of it, because we probably have a solid month here in Vegas left of like really hot all day round, like it doesn't cool off in the evening. It'll start to cool off in the evening, like in September. But just the thought of it, that it's like a month away, I'm like so excited <laughs> at the thought. And I'm like, let's just start talking about it. Let's just start talking about cooler weather. So yeah, when my skin gets really cracked and dry from cooler weather, this will come in really handy. And that's it. So I'm just gonna sit here. I have a stride class. Um, that's my workout class that I take at a treadmill gym. I have that at 9.30, so I have more than three hours <laughs> till that starts. So I think, I woke up kind of hungry, so I think I'm gonna get some, or just eat some breakfast, um, and then do my word games. As you guys know, I'm loving, loving, loving Connections. That's the newest game, I believe, in the New York Times uh, games section. So I always do Wordle with my friends, and we started doing Connections, so. Anyway, I don't think we all love it, but I love it. I love connections. <sighs> I'm like looking forward to and dreading this stride class. I'm looking forward to it because I haven't been in a while. It'll be really good to like just, you know, cardio kind of workout. And um, I'm dreading it at the same time because I haven't been in a while. And it's going to be really sore inducing, but it has to be done. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Hi, baby. Good morning. How did you sleep? Oh, still sleepy? You look daddy alone upstairs? That makes me sad. Well, that was torture. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you skip a week of workout, you get back, maybe you're not as good as the last time you went, but it's okay, you're a little bit sore than usual, that's okay. Two weeks, I really feel like I'm almost starting from scratch. A month, definitely, I'm starting from scratch. But two weeks, wow, like I think I have a blister on my foot. Like when was the last time I got a blister from running? Maybe it's time for new sneakers, actually, come to think of it. It has been a while. Anyway, um, yeah, that was, that was tough. And it was a stride class, which means it was just, it was like 51 minutes of just on the treadmill, not running the whole time. You know, we take breaks. I wasn't always a runner. I don't know if you guys know this particular <laughs> story about me, but I used to smoke like two to three packs of cigarettes a day. This was in my 20s. And, oh, you definitely know this story. Well, maybe I have some new subscribers, hello. <laughs> you guys definitely know this story, but I quit smoking. And when I quit smoking, I wanted to, you know, and I quit relatively young. I was like in my late 20s. Um, so it wasn't like I was quitting for, because I was diagnosed with lung cancer, emphysema or throat cancer, whatever. Uh, I just was like enough. I've, <laughs> I smoked enough for like three lifetimes. I wanted something to track any sort of healing that I was having. And so I thought, let me try running because the improvement will, will make me feel like not only am I getting better at something, but like I'm actually healing from the smoking. That's when I started running. And then when did I run the marathon? I was 32. Jesus Christ, okay. So I ran the marathon when I was 32. So I guess, I don't know, maybe that was like four years later. So anyway, I've been running ever since. It's my, my main form of exercise, if you will. And I keep reading about, I don't know, like if you wanna lose weight, you know, cardio is not the way or stop running, don't like, don't bother. And I'm like, running is such a natural movement for human beings that I just feel like that's, it's not a good message, you know? It's Running shouldn't only be about like losing weight. It really is. There's so much like mental health to be gained with it and just the endorphins and all of that stuff. And I just think it's a dangerous message <laughs> to say like, don't bother running. Um, don't bother doing cardio if you wanna lose weight. Um, so anyway, I really enjoy it. And again, if you guys are in the Vegas Henderson area, definitely check out Stride. 
um, on St. Rose and Eastern. It's such a great location too. It's so centrally located between like the southern part of Las Vegas and all of Henderson. Um, and they just, they have great classes and great coaches. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my yogurt. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Well, I have to shower. So I just had a very enlightening conversation with my husband. <laughs> this is such a typical, sorry. This is such a typical Michelle and her husband conversation. So he asked me, uh, you know, what are you doing the rest of this afternoon? And I said, I don't know. I'm like, I think I'm, I'm pretty caught up with work for once. I think I'm just gonna like, lay on the couch, I'm gonna get back in my jammies, I'm talking about like the shows maybe I'm watching, and then I'm like, I'll feed Butters her lunch. I'm going on and on and on, right? He's like, oh, you're gonna do all that before we go out? And I'm like, we're going out? Where are we going? And he's like, you made dinner reservations. And I was like, I did? <laughs> so I completely forgot, but one night when I was in New York and I was not sleeping well, I was, you know, on my phone, and I came across an Instagram post about a brand new restaurant at the Venetian. It's called Ha Salon. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's H-A Salon, S-A-L-O-N. I think it's like an Israeli Mediterranean kind of cuisine, kind of like a concept restaurant. I think it's supposed to be very unique. The dishes are supposed to be very, very unique. The experience is supposed to be very unique. Um, they have two seatings. I guess in my like sleepless stupor, I made a reservation. I put it on the calendar and I texted my husband. I did all that, promptly forgot about it until just now. So I actually went, cause I was like, oh man, like I kind of feel like just staying in and not doing anything. And he's like, well, I don't care. He's like, if you want to cancel, that's fine. So I go on to try and cancel, but they have this whole crazy cancellation policy. If you do it within 24 hours, which this would be, it would cost like a hundred dollars per person. I was like, wait, how much is this dinner? So anyway, uh, we are going out tonight. I was like, oh, well I need to hurry up and shower so I have plenty of relaxation time before I have to go out. That's what I did. I hurried and showered. So I'm just gonna hang out on the couch and I guess when I'm getting ready, it's supposed to be fairly fancy. I'm not gonna get like dressed up, but I'm gonna try and look nice and presentable. So I'll be back when I'm getting ready for my evening out. Hello, I just woke up from a nap. My husband was like, do you need to start getting ready? I woke up and my skin was feeling really dry. I think I was sleeping right underneath an AC duct. So I'm gonna throw on some of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Cause this is, um, it's like a great moisturizer on top of being a great primer. Wow, my skin is just drinking right up. My goodness. So dry, it's so weird. I think I'm gonna do the Westman Atelier like drops and then just the spot foundation slash conceal with the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I'm gonna start with the Peau de Rosé. I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes. I just love it, love it like that so much. Drop. So I'm gonna use this refer number 33 brush. I love a good nap, but I don't recover. I am not a good recoverer. Once I start to fall asleep, I need to sleep. I don't really understand the 10, 15, minute thing. I, it just doesn't feel like anything has happened. Look, that was one drop. I didn't even use the one drop. All right, I'm gonna use the foundation stick. I have it in the shade 0 0.5 and just tap that over the Peau de Rosé just to take down the shine a little bit. I was wondering what was going on. I'm using shade Atelier 1 right now. What is going on? Okay, let me put that away. I'm like, this looks awfully warm. Here, yes, here is 0 0.5, okay? Completely different, hold on. Let me show you, 0 0.5 and one. Um, this is one. It has a much stronger like yellow undertone to it and 0.5 is more neutral. I'll just put a little bit of the, I am going to powder a little cause I don't know if I'm just gonna be, I don't know if I'm gonna get even hotter as the night goes on. So I'm gonna take some of the Westman Atelier powder and creme. Oh, I could have. You know, I've been really liking this Makeup Forever uh, Twist Powder in the shade Medium. I think I tried the shade Light and the Light actually has micro glitters in there, which I was not a fan of. This one just makes my skin look really silky smooth. It has a nice, very subtle satin finish. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna go with my Surat Bronzer. This is in the shade Soleil Deux. I'm quite enjoying it. If you're going for that really popular latte look, 
I don't know why they have to give everything a name because it's literally just like a bronzy kind of cocoa monochromatic look. So anyway, if you're into that, I would highly recommend this bronzer because it's great as a bronzer, as a bronzer. It's also great as blush, which I think is kind of key to the latte look. I think I'm just gonna use my Surat eyeshadow in Zibeline. I think that's how you pronounce it. I feel like I've looked it up so many times that I do know now that it's like a mink, mink-like creature, like it's an animal in the mink family. Okay, wow. The Chantecaille Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint in Dark. I think they just have light and dark. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. I am gonna use this Wayne Goss mascara because this has been open for a while and I would like to use this up too. I love this mascara. Okay, who out there has been watching me from the very beginning? Do you remember when I just never wore mascara? I would put it on for you guys and I just, never wore mascara up until me starting YouTube. I just hated it. I didn't really get it. And now I get it. Now I get it when some women are like, oh, I can leave the, you know, the house without makeup, but I have to put mascara on. Yeah, so I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. It's basically the shade NP1. And then I'm gonna use this West Side Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in the shade New New. This is the N-O-U, N-O-U. This is the like soft coral color. Yeah, I feel like that keeps the nude look going. All right, now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because I fell asleep on the couch with it wet. <laughs> I guess I could just re-wet it and maybe dry it, but let's go upstairs and figure that out. I think what I'm gonna do with my hair is actually just like gel it back because I'm hot and I'm gonna tie it up anyway. So, and when I do that, I like to do it after I get dressed. So let's go into the closet. I think I'll do this. My Lily Silk short sleeve, uh, silk button front shirt and my Everlane linen pants. Okay, this shirt just came back from the cleaners, but there's this weird crease. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a crease like and it must have been like when I took the plastic off and just like shoved it, you know, with the rest of my shirts, it must have folded up strangely. Let me find a different top. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this totem top. This is the one that's striped and it has the slit sleeves. The sleeves are long, but I think what I'm eating, so I think the, situa <laughs> the situation at this restaurant is we're sitting at like a chef's counter. And so my thought is my arms are gonna be like kind of up up higher. It's not going to be like at a normal dinner table because I think this would annoy me if my sleeves kept kind of flopping over, but I think this will be okay. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Should I just wear my Kate flats or what do we think? I think that's, I think that's fine. If anything, it looks a little plain, but you know, kind of my style. Okay. So let's figure out this hair. I'm trying to think like, do I want my hair up, up? Or just back. Oh, we're just back. Um, and my fingers. in touch with some hairspray. This is the Orbe Superfine Strong Hairspray. It's like anything the gel didn't take care of, this will. Right, let's go back in my closet where my drawer is. Do I want the Lucifer Pearls tonight? I don't know. I don't know that it goes with this look. My, my outfit is like so simple and like kind of clean. These are so, I don't know, I think they're very evening and a little edgier. These Dean Davidson hoops. And should I go silver? Silver toned? Maybe. Yeah, I think that works with like the coloring of the shirt. And, okay, rings are on. And since this is like a collarless shirt, I'm just gonna forego the necklace 
situation. Oh, wow. I was just walking over to my handbag room and there's these windows in my hallway. The sky here looks crazy. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's coming across. I, it's like either it's gonna pour soon or maybe there's wildfires nearby and it's smoky. It's one of those two things. I don't think you guys can see. I'm looking in the monitor. It's like missing that brown tinge to the clouds. Yeah, it looks smoggy, which is really weird for Vegas because Vegas doesn't usually look smoggy. I guess maybe it's wildfires. I haven't heard of anything. Okay, let's see. So I was going to use this Dior saddlebag. What do you guys think? I think I'll use this. I haven't used this one in a while. And then I'm going to use my Orilla perfume that I love from Diptyque. So I look up, what do I look up? Las Vegas smoke today. And I have a couple of articles here. Smoke from York fire draws attention of interstate 15 commuters. So 15 is the highway. I mean, it goes way up north, but it basically um, goes from Vegas to LA. Um, Firefighters and firefighters of the York Fire located near Mountain Pass in the Mojave National Preserve. So that's south uh, west of us. Um, and then it also says the smoke from the California wildfires has been making its way to Las Vegas over the past few days and it's expected to stick around for a while. Okay. And then it says uh, on the roof of Fountain Blue, which is the new hotel being built on the strip, which has not opened yet, there's some fire burning on the roof of it. It's under construction, so I don't know what's going on and hopefully no one was hurt. But that's interesting. I don't think that's what's causing this. And it says that the air quality is still safe, but not ideal if you have respiratory issues. So that's just great. Yeah, I think, I think this is basically um, from the California wildfires. Sorry, there was like all these other articles about like other fires that were being put out around the city, just, you know, buildings and stuff. All right, well, mystery, mystery solved because I wasn't sure if it was gonna start pouring soon because it looks like that too. Anyway, what time is it? Ah. It is just about time to leave. Let's head on out to the Venetian. We are home from dinner. Let me tell you, my legs are sore. They're really, really tired and they're starting to like stiffen up from that class this morning and tomorrow morning I have another class and it's an ultra combo. So it's a 75 minute class, but we're gonna be on the treadmill and the floor. So anyway, I'm gonna be sore from like eyebrow to big toe. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of the dinner. Hasselon, it was really, the food was really good. The food was really, really good. The service was great. I love that open kitchen concept. The chef came over and talked to us at the end. He was really nice. I'm starting to feel like that old lady. I'm like, such a nice young man. He was such a nice young man. I think my only issue was, and I don't know if you guys caught this when I took a shot of the menu, but the menu was like just this random printout and they gave you a pen. They encouraged you to like mark it up. I was like, okay. There was different colors, like font colors, but it didn't mean anything. I was like, oh, what is like when something is in like the dark red, what does that mean? She's like, oh, nothing. So it made it really hard to read. I know that's a really nitpicky thing. I was like, of course your eyes are gonna be drawn to like the darker item. And then everything else was like in this light gray. And they all had just like really vague names with no description, like roasted peach bruschetta that we got. There was cheese on there and there was, I think maybe there was honey in the name, but there was like honey on it. And of course you could ask the server and she could, you know, tell you or whatever, but I just didn't understand why the names were so vague. Like, I don't want to sit here and ask, ask like the wait staff, like every, like, what's this? What's in this? What's in that? Like, it's just, 
Like, put it on the menu. Everything was great. The restaurant looked nice. I liked the concept. I liked sitting at the counter. The service was wonderful. The timing was fine. But I felt like I was in that movie, The Menu. Like I said, the food was really good. That hammered carpaccio was incredible. It was incredible. The only dish that we got that I did not like at all, it wasn't even like, eh, it was okay. I didn't like it at all, was the yellowtail sashimi. I mean, what's not to like, but I didn't like the actual yellowtail. I didn't like the fish. It wasn't, like yellowtail has like a, like a crunch to it, like a, a real firmness to it. And there was no firmness to this. I just didn't like, it, just, it was underwhelming. But every, I love that peach bruschetta and I love that hammered meat. <laughs> that hammered meat. It was delicious. So, so good. So well seasoned. Yeah, it was incredible. Oh, and then they gave us focaccia with like a yogurt dip. Oh, my, that was so good. And that was just, they just gave that to you um, on the house. That was probably one of the better things <laughs> um, that I ate. So anyway, oh, hi. Oh, Butters is in my lap now. Are you comfy cozy, baby? Hmm? You're curly cute up? But that's it. Another very amateur <laughs> food review of Hasselon in Vegas. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that it was bright. It was actually like, it was very well lit. Like usually, I don't know if you guys noticed from the footage, when I take footage in a restaurant, it's so dark. Like all the food has like a, a very warm sort of cast to it. It's very hard to see the menu. There's a lot of shadows. Nope, not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem with this restaurant. So for me, it was great. Like all, I feel like all the footage was like really clear, but kind of strange, kind of strange for a restaurant. Not a lot of ambiance. And I think maybe it was because we were doing the first seating and we're sitting at the chef's counter. So it was very casual compared to, I think the second seating, which is at the tables. And I think that's when they turn, you know, turn the lights down and it kind of turns into, you guys have to read the description. I'll leave a link down below in the description box, but it turns into like, not a dance club, but you know, they start dancing. I think they're dancing on the tables, like stuff like that. So anyway, oh, it's 8.30. Well, I'm in bed, <laughs> but I'm gonna try and stay awake until 9.30. So I'm gonna find something to watch, go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I wanted to come outside to check on the air quality. I don't smell the smoke anymore, which is good. And the skies are looking blue and clear again. And we'll be able to go for our walk. Not that we wouldn't have, but at least I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. to my uh, bedroom to get changed to work out. I open up the drawer and it's like empty. All I have are like some shorts in there and of course, you know, the few tops that like you never wear. I don't know why, I don't just, don't get rid of them. I'm like, where are all of my workout clothes? I thought, have we not done laundry in that long? When I find something that I like, sports bra especially, tops, tights, right? I buy them in bulk because who knows when they're gonna get discontinued. I usually can only wear them once and then they have to go into the hamper. So I like to have a lot. I like to have a lot on hand. And I was like, where? Oh my God, I can't believe all of my clothing is dirty. I'm like picking through the hamper. I'm thinking, ugh, am I gonna have to wear something old? Should I just wear a t-shirt? I'm going through all these things. I thought, well, let me just check the laundry room. We had all of this clothing sitting in the dryer. Do you guys do that too? I feel like such a jackass. So I'm actually surprised this isn't more wrinkled than it is, but I have no idea how long that clothing was sitting in the dryer. Okay, while I wait for my husband to get dressed for class, I think I'm gonna order a new pair of sneakers. I um, used to be on a pretty good schedule, you know, when to order some new sneakers and I was pretty in tune with when my sneakers need to be replaced, but I just, 
I haven't been working out regularly and I've completely lost track of time, but it is definitely time for me to order a new pair. So I'm gonna do that now. I usually go for A6 and I'll probably stick with A6. They, like the normal width, the B width, works perfectly for me and I have like slightly wide feet. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna order from Zappos if I can find a style and the size that I want. So what is the model? Oh, this is the model I usually go for, the GT2000. I don't want purple sneakers. I don't know why they have to do this, <laughs> do this to sneakers. I don't want like crazy, I don't know, I don't know. The, it's just me. If that's what you're into, by all means, live your best life. But I just want like black or white sneakers. Wow, there's so many more models now too. Nova Blast, Dyna Blast, GT2000, oh, no, that's a really old model. GT2011, I think that is the newest. Oh look, black and white. Isn't that just perfect? Um, I'm just gonna get the black and white pair. Zappos knows my size. Women's size nine. New sneakers are on the way. The soles on these look thicker than they have in the past. That's interesting. Wow, uh, that was a really hard class. 75 minutes, half treadmill, half floor. And the floor work was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy today. It was a partner workout. So it was like your partner did one thing and you did another. So generally one partner would be doing like weights and then the other partner would be doing some sort of like exercise, like burpee or mountain climbers, like that kind of shit. Anyway, so you basically didn't stop. Like my heart rate was just out of this world. But my husband and I, we won. I didn't realize like what was going on. I think they mentioned it at the beginning of class and I just missed it. But there was some sort of contest going on and whichever partner pair burned the most calories would win. So they have first, second, and third prize. And we got first prize. <laughs> we both were like, what? Are you sure? So we won. A stride bag, how exciting. We got a mini foam roller, which is great because I have a normal, not normal, but a bigger size one, a normal size one. I got another water bottle. I love these water bottles because they're just easy. <laughs> we got, ah, we got a t-shirt. I'm gonna have to see if I can change this for a different size. We got a bunch of organic protein, protein powders. I think they're all just chocolate flavor. Oh no, there's some vanilla. Yeah, some chocolate, some vanilla. That's awesome. And we actually, we went to Protein House after class and got a Green Beast shake, a protein shake, which I don't drink often. I'd rather just get my protein from like eggs and eating meat. But anyway, got this because we were just so hot after that class. And I'm like, a shake just sounded really good. Oh, we got one of these cozies, like a can cozy. Oh yeah, some more like coupons and stuff. Another drink mix, Energy Fizz, Ginseng Fizz Sticks. Ooh. Uh, my husband and I are still uh, skeptical that we actually won because we were like, how is that possible? <laughs> but we did. So the plan is we're going to finish our shakes. We're going to get into the pool. I'm going to get into the pool. We're going to play with butters for a little bit, uh, take a shower after that, and then um, just relax for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. 